everyone, it's Good Tani Games morning, here. Gooby. Good morning, Goofy. <laughs> um, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with a Discord Dream Snaps review video. This time we're going over the villainous uh, Dream Snaps. It was like a villain lair, villainous lair, something like that. Um, <laughs> we're going to go through the amazing submissions that you guys have created. This is going to be a two-part video. Um, so we're going to go over half the submissions now and then we'll go over the other half in a second video. So why don't we quickly jump over to Discord, take a look at all the amazing submissions you have all created for the Villainous Dream Snap, Villainous Lab, whatever it was called, um, <laughs> and uh, see what you have all made okay so here we are with our first submission which comes from chloe so it says i submitted this one minute before the reset i've been away somewhere with zero signal so with only a few days to have an idea this is what i got i actually love the idea thanks to my fiance just wish i had more time to make it better i'm starting to feel like i don't want to follow the rules of high tags because it's stopping my creativity that being said i might try getting the tags by hiding items like i did for this shot and i i, I honestly get that it's something that i've been quite torn on recently is how it does seem that tags have this kind of like really big impact in dream snaps and i do agree that i think it stifles creativity a lot so um I kind of wish it wasn't the case um, and that it was pretty much all done on votes and that people just truly voted for the, you know, their favourite photo. I wish that was the case because um, then, yeah, I think people could be a lot more creative and things like that with their submissions. But let's have a look at this one. Now, I do love this as a Marvel fan. <laughs> Like, obviously, this was just instantly recognisable to me. I think it's super fun. I think it's so creative. Obviously, you are representing Thanos here. And you have the uh, stones as well, which you've used the gems to kind of replicate, which I think is fantastic. So creative. So fun. It's just, like, honestly, it kind of makes me chuckle, this photo. Um... But I do think it's very unique and creative. Like, I love that. I think it's a fun submission. And this is kind of what I wish... Um, what I wish Dream Snaps was maybe more like. But I do agree. I think things like the tag requirements and stuff like that means people often... Um, are kind of limited in what they can do. And so I love this. I think it's super duper fun and thank you for sharing. Next up, we have Amethyst Unicorn with their two villainous lair submissions. Um, I love this first one. It's very cute. Um, it, I do admit it, it probably is a bit risky because it probably leans more magical than villainous in a sense. Like, um, like less scary intimidating I don't know if that makes sense but I think overall it's a very very beautiful image um I love the sparkles the projectors that you've used dotted around the fact that you've used this um what are they called the companions that are glowy <laughs> I've completely forgotten the names of everything I feel so bad um but yeah, this companion I think was just such a great choice and it is a stunning image, absolutely beautiful. And then this is our next submission which is on Madison's account and I love it, I love it. Such a great way of using the rifts and things like that, using that to your advantage. I think it's created such a fun snap and i really adore this it definitely has all the villainous vibes and everything like that so i think this is going to do really really well i think it's such a unique take it's so creative and i i think it's a well composed shot i think it's very very beautiful and yeah i actually really really like this submission now our next submissions come from october rose with her submission and her husband's so this is October Rose's submission and it's so beautiful. Honestly, these 
uh, starlight projectors all in a row, the floating can uh, lanterns, not candles, <laughs> the floating lanterns. This is just a very, very pretty image. I love the colours. I love the vibrancy. I love how your character looks. I think this is an absolutely wonderful submission. And then this is the Voldemort inspired one, which I think is brilliant. So hilarious. Honestly, I, I love to see it. I think it's absolutely a fantastic submission very creative very outside of the box so this was fun to see next up we have our pupster with their submission this is similar to a previous snap that they had made before and i think this is wonderful i love it it's so so creative the fact that you have ariel and eric trapped you've used um ursula here um or at least in her vanessa form all the different kind of like Ursula inspired elements I think just look absolutely wonderful. So yeah, I think this is a fantastic submission. Next up we have Ev Era with their submission and I love this, very, very spooky vibes. I love the lighting. The lighting in this is just very, very good. Um, I love all the bookcases. It certainly has a really dark and menacing tone. I, what I love about this is I couldn't tell where in the valley this is taken like i'm like literally like where is this i would assume forgotten lands um but literally it's kind of like a world of its own like i could picture the dark castle looking just like this kind of thing i think this is absolutely fabulous and uh, a really really great submission next up we have nolan submission and oh boy oh boy <laughs> <laughs> wow this is um like such an eye-catching image all the bright foliage from all the sea plants and everything like that i love how ariel is like trapped in the fawns you know the fact that you've managed to somehow capture ursula's speech bubble and like like how it is so hard to control the characters when they're in water like ariel and ursula to get them in a shot in water is i honestly don't know <laughs> even how you could do that and yeah it's just unbelievable this shot is just like this could be a cutscene from the game it's so incredible um obviously you've got your character in the background there with mother gothel and the forgotten i honestly such a wonderful touch i just this is absolutely fabulous. Well done on this. Next up, we have Kamikaze with their submission. And I love this. It's super fun, super expressive. I love the fact that you've used the projectors behind the cauldrons to create this kind of like misty, smoky effect. All the uh, candle laden branches at the top, um, the fountains from the nightmare before christmas collection just looks really fabulous and i do believe that is the well of souls at the very front of the picture given like those uh green kind of smoky vibes and stuff like that definitely feels like a witch's lair i love this i think it's super fun really vibrant and yeah i think it looks amazing next up we have rouge majesty who's put my kidnapping skills are coming in handy also look at those tags impressive tags i must say and i love this i love how you've captured mickey and minnie that's super fun um i'm not a big fan of mickey and minnie i know that's probably quite controversial um in the kind of like disney world fandom kind of thing but i'm not a big fan so the fact that you've chosen to kidnap those 10 out of 10 from me <laughs> i think it's wonderful all the kind of like fawny branchy twees uh twees <laughs> trees <laughs> in the background um i think this is wonderful i i love all the purple kind of elements and vibes of it uh, yeah this is just fabulous fantastic job next up we have henry with their medusa's lair i did watch a little bit of this on stream um and honestly this is such a fun and creative submission i definitely love the whole like medusa vibes i think that's fabulous the fact that you've used the maui statue and also the eric statue such a great touch 
all the little scramble coin pieces like the Remy, um, you've got Cogsworth, you've also got the turn in red statues at the back there, like, yeah, this is wonderful, I think this is so great, and also I do love the cute little baby Mickey cloud, it looks very, very adorable, so honestly, a fantastic submission. Next up, we have Cat with their submission, and I love this, it's so wonderfully colourful, definitely kind of like evil fairy core vibes, which I think is fabulous, um, definitely a unique and interesting take, um, I love how you your bird kind of like matches with your outfit. I think that's really adorable. And yeah, it just overall a really, really cool and fun image. Next up we have Marina with their submission and this is fun. I love this. The fact that you've gathered like all the villains, you know, you have Ursula, you have the Mother Gothel, you have Gaston, you have Scar. You've included the Forgotten, which I think makes sense because, you know, the Forgotten storyline was kind of like a bad storyline and things like that. And the Forgotten does have this kind of like evil looking appearance I guess you could say and then your character looks fabulous I love all the, the like the way you've decorated with the trees and the buildings all the candles at the front like it looks like a summoning circle or something at the front here which I think is super cool all the lights the vibrancy this is an absolutely wonderful and creative photo I love this next up we have Gigi with their vampirish lair and this is fabulous, I love it. I think it's a great use of the the new kind of like customization options with the skin color and the ears. I think that's pretty fabulous. I think it's kind of cute that you've got Jack here, even though I would say that Jack isn't a villain. You know, I can see you've just obviously tried to use him to add in those kind of like skeleton Halloween kind of vibes. Um, but I love how the castle looks. I love the use of these like broken down um, like uh, fencing. Um, I forget what the name of those items are. Uh, like the wall pieces. I think that's absolutely fabulous. The car and the bike at the front with the jack-o'-lanterns. The green kind of glow from the lanterns. This is a very, very fabulous image. Next up we have Mantha, who's per not very good with the villainous dream snap. So this will have to do. And I really enjoy this. I think it's super fun. I love the little like monster plushie. I think that's so cute. I love all the like scrolls roles and books definitely giving kind of like witch core vibes which I love I think this is a wonderful submission and yeah I'm really excited to see how this does because I think it is really fun to look at very creative and I think it's definitely on theme it looks like a witch's hideout so I think it's definitely um creative and really cool next up we have Emmy Bouquet with their submission and this is so, so good. Honestly, I I love this. I just think this is such a wonderful and creative shot. Like, to take a, a, a picture from this perspective, like, Emmy just has this wonderful eye for kind of, like, photography. And, like, it's just so unique. I have not seen anyone take photos from like this angle before and I think it honestly looks really incredible. I love the little touch with the like the skeleton bone of the um, fish from the fish you catch in the dunes, the like little scorpion that you've included, the dug up bones like I think that's really fun and creative and a really unique take and yeah I think this is absolutely wonderful this is definitely one of my favorite submissions I I just the creativity on this is it's superb I I adore this I think this is wonderful next up we have Miss Cupcake with their submission and this is fun she's captioned this come to the dark side we have cookies wonderful <laughs> this is so wonderful i feel like this feels very on theme on brand for miss cupcake to go down a kind of like dessert themed route i think that's so fun and really kind of unique and speaks to 
Miss Cupcake as a person, which I think is absolutely fabulous. Um, I love that you've included Mother Gothel and Ursula. I think that's fabulous. Honestly, this is so, so fun. Your character looks cute. I love the use of the little, like, chef hat. Like, yeah, this is just fun. It's so fun. And this is... This is sometimes the things that I like to see with Dream Snaps. It's just submissions like this. It, it just makes you smile, to be honest. So, yeah, this is fantastic. Next up, we have Echo with their submission. And this is wonderful. I love this. The lighting, the sparkles. The character looks so cool, so unique. I love the, like, green hair contrasting with, like, the red skin. Um... You have got some of the villains around. You've got Sky. You've got Ursula. Um, yeah, this is just fabulous. Definitely giving all the witchy kind of vibes, which I love. And yeah, I just think it's fabulous. I feel like everywhere I look in this photo, there's like some unique little detail which I think is great I love this honestly fantastic job next up we have winter dragonfly who's put um auntie m's garden gnome emporium percy jackson and generic villain as soon as I saw we were getting the Celia hair, I knew I'd eventually do a Medusa-inspired snap if given the chance, and they gave me the chance immediately. As a big fan of the Percy Jackson books and the new series, I had to do the Emporium as I pictured it in my head. My only regret is that we don't have more statues. I am really proud of this dream snap. I love how it came out. I hope it does really well, but if not, say la vie, I still love it. So much so that I'm going to rebuild it a little more practically and keep it permanently in my valley. For my second account, ain't gonna lie, I just reused an old area I'd used before. It's pretty, but I just couldn't be bothered to do a whole new setup. Thanks to those who helped me yesterday when I was questioning the lighting of my garden snap, you confirmed my instinct. So let's have a look at this now i think this is fantastic i love this i wanted i tried to create like ages and ages ago like a statue kind of garden um but, <laughs> but we really didn't have much so i was using like the stone rock pillars and things like that um i did have the turn in red statues kind of like at the front and then the lion statues at the back but it was really missing stuff and I did eventually tear it down when I restarted my whole valley builds and stuff like that. But um, it's definitely kind of like an idea that I wanted to do ages ago. And I think this looks wonderful. Um, the use of the Maui statue, Eric. We've got the lion statue in the background, the turn in red. The Anna statue, uh, the, the like Mickey friendship statue, the scramble coin pieces. Like, honestly, it's so good, so creative. I love the Medusa vibes of it all. I think your character looks amazing. I love the purple glow and lighting and all the foliage. It looks absolutely wonderful, and I think this is a fantastic submission. And then here we have your generic villain. I love this. I love how you've used Scar's, like, cooking pot to create this green mist, which looks like it's coming from the cauldron. The, all, all these trees in the background, these like branchy trees, the spooky castle. This is a wonderful submission. I love this. And I actually really love the hair. Seeing this hair in like the black colour with the flowers, I really think makes the flowers pop. So I think this is a great submission. The candles, honestly, this is fantastic. So great job with this account. Next up, we have Amy B, who does some really, really um, creative submissions. So she's put, my main account is based on steampunk villains and my alt account is based around dragon lore. Now, this first one, I absolutely love. I think it's fantastic, definitely giving all the steampunk vibes. I think it's super duper creative. But when we come to this second one, I am in love with this. I think this is so great. Your character looks so cool. Definitely giving those dragon vibes. The hordes of like gold and gems and treasures. The bones that you've got dotted around. Oh, this is fabulous. This is a 10 out of 10 submission. Um, I love this one. I think this one is so, so good. 
honestly so creative i i really really like this submission i think this is fantastic and i think you've done amazingly with this super creative okay next up we have nina with their submission i love this all the purple vibes all the sparkles the way you've used the ursula throne kind of like behind you is a really nice touch and all the decor with the fawns coming through at the front i think looks amazing too so i think this is a wonderful submission i think this is fantastic and your character looks super cute and yeah i just love this submission i think it's super fun Next up we have Kyra who's put wasn't too motivated this week by another doubt theme so went with something simple and if this is your idea of simple <laughs> like oh my goodness this doesn't feel simple to me at all I think this is fabulous the light from this orb is so good um, the projector lights, even the glowing pinky purple lights in the background is just fabulous. The way the fawn, like the fawns come out behind the like broken rocks and everything is just fabulous. I think this is wonderful and it doesn't feel simple at all. It's so well decorated and so creative. I honestly love this. I think this is amazing. Great job with this. Next up, we have Brainy Disc, who's put, after working my butt off, I finally got both dream styles for Mike and Sully. This take <laughs> took days of doing tasks in order to get what I needed. Um, so I guess this is like a Monsters Inc. themed dream snap, which is very, very fun. And it's really exciting that you have managed to get the dream styles. Uh, it's really cute to see that Mike's dream style has the braces, because honestly, I didn't realize that. So that's super fun to see. Thank you for sharing. Next up, we have a donut with their submission who's put finally finished my build after three hours of waiting for it to stop raining every 10 minutes. It took me a while to decide on what to do, but in the end, I really love this look. I totally love the new skin and eye options. Lots of people are doing scary villains, but I decided to keep this quiet a moment. Even villains are human inside. Well, not Scar because he's a lion and Ursula is, well, Ursula, so... <laughs> I think that's so fun. On Switch, tags are 95 quirky and 131 strong. So that's super good tags. And I love this. I think this definitely still has the villainous vibes. Like you can tell your character's kind of like on the evil side and stuff like that. So I love this. The pixel like... Are they called pixel flames? Like these things are such a cute addition. I love the kind of like mix of the purples and the green. I think they like complement each other very, very nicely. So I think this is an absolutely wonderful submission. I love that your companion here is the raven and it kind of matches the Maleficent wings, which is fabulous. Yeah, this is a wonderful submission. I really like this. Next up, we have Say Hi Joel with their submission and... I really, really like this. I love all the red colours, all the red vibes, the flowers, the potion bottles, the floating candles, the Ursula kind of like statue, not statue, throne <laughs> in the background I think is fabulous. The fire raven. Honestly, this is really fun, really creative. I love this submission. I love how your character looks, definitely giving all the villainous vibes and the use of these windows is also very good. These are great windows i absolutely love these so honestly fantastic this is great i love it next up we have wild fay with their submission and i love this because i'm a big coraline fan so wild fay's put what if coraline accepted the bell dabs offer except coraline wasn't going to just to be just another victim she had other plans in mind the pink palace has been redecorated and fun times ahead are reflected in those lovely chartreuse buttons and this is wonderful this is so good i am a bit worried that people might think Coraline and go oh not very villainous but i love this the creativity i think it's super fun i think this is a beautiful shot i think this looks amazing and yeah i love this i think this is really really fun and yeah i love it i think this is a wonderful submission 
Next up, we have Flame G, who's put not feeling it this week. But I actually really love this submission. The Medusa vibes are incredible. Again, using like Anna, Maui, Eric, like these stone uh, like sculptures and statues is really good. And I love all the kind of like pillars as well in the background. I just think they really add a lot to this shot. I love how she's kind of like looking in the mirror as well. Like, hmm. <laughs> but yeah this is wonderful with the snake and everything like that i think this is a wonderful submission i absolutely love this now next up we have me <laughs> we have me so this is my submission that i made on my new account so i literally didn't have a lot of items um I didn't really know what to do because none of the furniture I had really was villainous, villainous, but I did have night fawns literally everywhere. So I was like, okay, well, let's do something with the night fawns. Let's do an image with that. Um, I actually really liked this filter. I thought it gave it kind of like a really cool vibe. Um, and one thing that I was trying to capture, which actually didn't turn out looking so clear, um, most likely because of the filter I used, was actually the well at the beginning was emanating this like black fog. And I was like, oh, that would be great to capture. It will look like I'm creating some spell out of this well. Um, but obviously that's not been reflected because that's kind of all faded with the filter so i did lose that effect um i'm not expecting this to do that well i'm thinking this is probably a 300 moonstone snap i'm not expecting much from this i think there's a lot of things wrong with it it's quite dull it's not super exciting and things like that like the only things really going for it are the night fawns and then I've gone for like these dark eyes um and this kind of like evil looking face but I feel like my character blends into the background a bit so honestly not expecting a lot from this I won't be mad or disappointed if I only get 300 because I don't think it's really a snap that's worth that much but i think it was fun to try and do um especially so kind of like early game with such limited items um it was a challenge but it was a fun challenge to attempt and i i am intrigued to see what the results will be but as i said i'm not expecting <laughs> i'm not expecting a lot from it um so yeah but i'm interested to see how it turns out Next up, we have Pokemouse with their submission. And I like this. This is fun. I love all the mix of flowers and how, like, the flowers kind of match with your hair. Like, that's a really cute touch and detail. Obviously, looks like some outside spell area. You've got all your books and things like that. The candles. The, um... What are these called? Potion bottles. <laughs> these how you've included this and it looks like you've actually turned the nightmare before christmas like this is like jack's like uh thing that he draws on with all the like equations have you turned this round because it's like blank i feel like it's been turned around and I'd, I'd never think to do that but yeah it looks great i think this looks wonderful i think this is a fun submission and yeah i'm excited to see what your results are Next up, we have Otto with their submission. And I really like this for the creativity and uniqueness of it. Um, you've got some pretty high tags there, which I think will do well. Um, and yeah, this, this looks great. Um, it's very, very unique. It definitely gives villainous vibes. And yeah, I, I just think this is really, really unique. It's such a weird kind of like look to it. Because, like, obviously you've got this kind of, like, orb. You've got all this blurry background and stuff like that. Your character definitely looks really villainous. Like, I love this. I think this is wonderful and super unique. And then, lastly, for this batch of submissions, we have Emmy. And I love this. I think this is absolutely wonderful. Your character's definitely given the evil vibes what i like is that, how have you made this well of souls look so like dark it looks like a black swirl like intermixed with the green like the colors on this are looking very very cool definitely very villainous 
Um, yeah, I just I just like the lighting and the look of this. It's really eye catching. I love how the bird looks flying in the background with the like flame wings. The mix of the purples and the greens again, I think is just such a nice touch and I think it works really, really well. And I love that that follows through from the lighting to even kind of like the decor and then also how your character looks with the green skin mixed with the purple of Ursula's outfit. I think this is a great submission. I think you've done wonderfully here and yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. Okay, so there we have it, the first batch of submissions from the Villainous Lair Dream Snap Challenge. This was a lot of fun to go over. There's a lot of unique and creative ideas, which I really enjoyed seeing. Good and morning, Angelfish. A good morning, Ursula. <laughs> um but yeah this was fun this was fabulous i love to see it i really enjoy doing these submissions so uh if you want to be featured in a video don't forget to share your dream snap in my discord so that i can showcase it in one of these videos i think that'll be fantastic to do so if you do want to show it off and share with me please feel free to join the discord uh the link will be in the description below and you can post your dream stats there so anyway i will wrap this one up and i'll see you in the next one bye guys